Welcome to the FX Options Weekly Outlook, a weekly podcast series hosted by Jason Ayers, a top instructor, trader, and founder of OptionSource.net. Join Jason as he discusses the latest trends in the Forex market with a look ahead on the U.S. dollar versus the major currencies using the most commonly used technical indicators. Hi there, and thanks for joining me for the ISC FX Options Weekly Outlook for February 22, 2010. As always, this is Jason Ayers of OptionSource.net. Let's take a look at the weekly chart of the U.S. dollar index. This is a great way to gain perspective as to how the dollar has been trading against a basket of currencies. While that 78 zone still remains an important support level in the bigger picture, however, after last week's, uh, the last couple of weeks trading activity, the 79, 79 and a half focal zone is uh, becoming a very important near-term support. Now, as, as the dollar index consolidates above this level, we do expect the possibility of a push that may extend a little deeper into the 79 80 to, to 82 focal zone testing uh, into 82 until we see a break below 79 the path of least resistance in the bigger picture still continues to be to the upside if we take a closer look at this uh, US dollar index we can see on our daily snapshot here the importance of that 79 79 and a half uh, support level and once again with our upper target uh, coming in just around that 82 level Let's take a look at the CDD, the U.S. versus the Canadian dollar. Well, we saw the pair value consolidating uh, within our 104, 104 and a half focal zone last week as the U.S. dollar made some attempt to establish uh, a, a support level. Now, we saw Friday a, uh, an attempt to push higher. However, the pair value clearly closed off those highs to uh, uh, retest the bottom range of that 104, 104 and a half focal zone. At this stage, until we see a break above 105 and a half to 106, uh, we are looking at the possibility of a test down into this 102, 102 and a half focal zone, which uh, will be signaled by a break and a close below 104. Let's take a look at the YUK, the US versus the Japanese yen. Well, the pair value broke above the upper range of our 9091 focal zone, suggesting the possibility of a continuation higher. However, on Friday, we did see the pair close off of the highs, which happens to be uh, also within a measured retracement zone. At this point, we are looking to see some consolidation within this range. Uh, however, a break below 90 opens the window for a retest of our 88, 88 and a half focal zone. Should this consolidate Validation uh, take place and support uh, found at 90.91. We are targeting 93.5, 94. Well, let's take a look and see how the U.S. dollar has been trading against the euro. The pair value continues to consolidate within our 73.74 focal zone, and Friday's close suggests that we may see a, a bit of a retracement uh, lining up over the next uh, uh, week, which uh, could conceivably uh, slip back down to test the 71.72 uh, focal zone that we have uh, identified here on our uh, chart. Now, uh, should the uh, EUI make one more attempt higher? there is a significant resistance level uh, up at 75. Next up, the BPX, the U.S. versus the pound. Last week, we were looking at a consolidation pattern taking place, which uh, we thought did have the possibility of breaking higher and uh, with the uh, with an early test of this uh, 63 63 and a half support we can see here that the pair value traded right up and tapped the bottom range of our 65 65 and a half focal zone at this point uh, after closing obviously off of the highs on Friday we are open to the possibility of a bit of a retracement bringing the pair value back down in to find support at 64 64 and a half Let's take a look at the U.S. dollar versus the Australian dollar as seen here in the ISC FX options pair value AUX. Last week we saw the pair value consolidate within the 111 and a half to 112 focal zone before ending the week on a negative note, uh, closing uh, significantly off the highs. Now, if this weakness continues, we will be targeting the 109 to 110 box here. However, if the pair value can find support within this 111, 112 focal zone, we will be looking at 130. 13114 as the next logical level of resistance. If the pair value happens to break 113114, we are likely to see a continuation all the way through to trade back into this 116117 focal zone. 
Let's take a look at some of our key points. First of all, the U.S. dollar index is still showing signs of indecision, consolidating within the 8081 focal zone once again. Support continues to hold at 80. As with last week, 82 remains an important overhead resistance. Friday's large reversal candle suggests we may see a deeper pullback. The CDD continues to hold support at 104, 104 and a half. However, last Friday's reversal bar suggests further weakness for the U.S. dollar. The YUK completed a measured retracement higher, closing off of the highs uh, on Friday. Support at 90.91 lends credibility to another leg higher. The EUI hit 74 in reverse last Friday. We are open to a deeper retracement. However, the U.S. dollar continues to hold its ground, lending credibility to another thrust higher to test the upper range of our 74.75 box. The BPX hit 65 on Friday before rejecting. We are likely to see some consolidation at these levels. Finally, the AUX attempted to retrace some ground last week, but reversed on Friday. A break below 111 opens the window for another leg lower. And this has been your ISC FX Options Weekly Outlook for February 21st, 2010. As always, I'm Jason Ayers of Optionsource.net. Thanks for joining me here this week. We'll see you here next week. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary, visit www.fxoptions.com. Become an Optionsource.net member. Visit www.optionsource.net. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.